Hi, my name is Nicole Buckman and I want to show you the making of a Hackett musical by taking you behind the curtain. Hundreds of hours go into making a musical. Hours in the rehearsal process, the planning process, the building process, and of course the performances. To put on a musical, it takes a village. Staff members include a director, choreographer, producer, musical director, costume and set designers. Staff may be new to the Hackett stage or old time veterans. For the production of Sound of Music, Ben and Kathy came to Hackett for the first time to direct and choreograph the show. Well, for me, coming into a new environment, you do have to kind of feel your way and kind of come to an understanding of, of how the technical aspects all integrate with the performance aspects, uh, where the handoff points are, who's responsible for, for this or yeah. that or, or what so have being you. Being newbies, we have to find those things out. Ben and Kathy were able to meet the students and introduce the script at the first rehearsal, or some may call the table read. Uh, table read is an opportunity for the students to read with the director and uh, a little bit of exploration of character, uh, an opportunity to be able to hear other voices and respond and react, uh, an opportunity to meet each other, um, I, I also an opportunity to build the ensemble. Table reading also includes tech because you like tech to be there so that they can actually hear the story and it's, it's part of building the ensemble, it's part of building that, that uh, teamwork. The way the script is read at the table read is no way set in stone. It allows the actors to begin exploring their character. In the first table read, what I distinctly remember is I said the lines very differently than how I say them now. It, I'd give them this inflection or I'd emphasize this word and so because of like since then I've changed so many things. From the table read until opening night, rehearsals fill the cast and crew schedules. For the next two months, the company has three to four hour rehearsals throughout the week. So for high school students is very important because uh, and for any 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 theater what I'm talking about, but but for high school students who maybe they're doing this for the first time, they uh, they need that time again to be able to listen, listen, respond, listen, and respond. Basically, acting is reacting. So when you're listening to someone and the audience sees it and they recognize that, they get the full picture. Rather than my line, your line, my line, your line. Um, in in addition, like a sports team you need to build that energy together. Certain members were called each night depending on which scene was being worked on. For the first couple of weeks, scenes are blocked. This is where the director tells the actors where they are to say their line on stage, when they move, and how they enter or exit. Rehearsals are also for character work, where a director can help the actors really understand the lines they're saying. Ben, of course, you know, would like to, <laughs> he'd stop us and be like, no, 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 try this, or, why would you say that, you know, not telling, well, sometimes he'd tell us what to do, but other times he'd really make you think, okay, why would your character do that? So you actually think as your character and you start to you really become them. You just kind of, in that moment, you are them. Some rehearsal nights are dedicated to acting and scene work, where other nights are for learning the dances and mastering the music. Rehearsals can get hard and repetitive when students have to repeat a scene or a dance over and over and over again but they smile through it all, knowing that their work will be worth it when their performances begin. And it has been an absolutely, joy. just a joyous experience. It's been an absolutely great, wonderful. Great yeah. time. The students are incredible. They are talented, they're kind, they're supportive, and, and being believers, uh, this is a place where we can come and we can share our faith openly, which is very different. Very you know, when you're, different yeah, from when you're working in a public at. school, for instance, you can't do that. And the fact that many of our rehearsals begin with prayer, that's something that I think we It's really, a big change. Yeah, great. It's, it's really been wonderful. It has been just a, a really kind of an unexpected blessing. Beginning rehearsals with prayer is not the only unique part of Hackett Theater. The, the whole point of Hackett's program is that it is student-led. If there's a mistake, the students own it. They own it and they make it work and they can, and they build that map. I 
I believe that the Holy Spirit truly drives this program because it's it's not about the individual. It's about sharing sharing this this process, sharing the environment, sharing the celebration. Every Saturday morning during the rehearsal process, Hackett has built where parents and the company come to put the set together. We're the ones who build the sets. We're the ones who put in so much, well, everybody puts in the time, but every there's a kid to, kids are involved in every department. And sure, we have an adult there leading them, but really we're trying to push. It's made by the kids for the people. We're not just like saying, oh, the parents can come in and build the set. No, we're here 9 a.m. to 1, sometimes later. Building the set, bleeding on the set, I've done that a few times, that's fun. But it's just our level of involvement compared to other schools. That kind of student involvement is exactly what Miss Albee wants the kids to learn throughout this process. What we try to show here and teach here is that you don't need to have a budget that's out of this world in order to be able to perform. Um, I want them to learn to build costumes. I want them to learn to put together a costume plot. I want them to be able to learn to take paint and mix it up and, and meet the needs of the mood of the scene to, to paint the set. I want them to be built a part of the process. I want them to learn how to screw in nails. I want them to learn how to move scenery and, and make the show flow without um, without losing continuity. The closer opening night gets, the more the actors have to be off book, memorized, and slowly start going from rehearsing a couple scenes a night to running through the whole show. It isn't until Tech Saturday when all the aspects are added and the whole company needs to be at Hackett all day long. Tech Saturday is when the students come together. We realize maybe we need some extra running crew. We bring the running crew together. We bring costumes together. We bring the, the lights, the sound. We work with uh, the uh, we work with the microphones, and the students have an opportunity to run the show and focus specifically on tech. Uh, does that prop really work? Well, let's take a moment and we might need to get a different prop, but we'll use that one for today. Uh, moving scenery, making certain that it is that it is done with, with concise movement or precise movement is a better way to say it. Precise movement, but also safety. It all needs to flow so the audience isn't watching frantic movement of scenery but clearly part of the show. So the energy has to carry through with Tech. Tech Saturday is about, is about combining the two efforts now and, and, try, and, and actually building a complete ensemble. After Tech Saturday, the final countdown begins as opening night is less than a week away. Rehearsals continue, but they become longer and become full dress rehearsals each night. The students are called an hour and a half before the show to set up, have mic checks, put on makeup, and warm up. This upcoming week will consist of uh, building continuity. They, they have the call time, so they still have to be here at a certain time. And uh, they will continue to to tighten up the show. You know, and So as we move to Friday, it builds both an energy and uh, a driving force that is the ensemble. Soon enough, it's opening night. The audience fills the auditorium while the company prepares backstage. Minutes before curtain, the students get their energy going through cheers and, of course, prayer. Boys take forever! Boys take forever! Boys take that we hit our cues, hit our lines, improve upon what we've been stuck last night, and through St. Genesis we pray. Amen. Opening night turns into multiple performances and eventually into strike after the final show. The set is torn apart and the scripts are turned in, and after months of rehearsal, it is all over. But for longtime director and producer, Miss Albee, this whole process of making a musical at Hackett is far from over because the memories made here can carry with students for the rest of their life. The whole point is, is that what it teaches, it teaches, uh, it teaches about time. It teaches about uh, showing up on time. 
it teaches about ensemble, teamwork, uh, collaboration, and the family. Because that's really what it ends up being, is a little family. And they take care of each other, and they fight, and they argue, but they always come back to what's our objective. Our objective is to meet the needs of this audience. I'm so lucky that I was able to watch this company throughout the whole process from beginning to end put together a musical and I I just was so inspired by all the hard work that I, I want others to know the process of a musical and because there's so much hard work that goes into making it and as someone who's done theater here at Hackett and have watched companies before me and after me there's no doubt in my mind that there's so much passion and dedication in these students here at Hackett for theater. Their eagerness to learn every aspect that there is is so unique here at Hackett. And all the students here know that this stage is more than just a raised platform in front of seats in an auditorium. But this stage is a way that they can use any part of theater, whether that be performance and through design and production, that they can tell a story to the audience. And I think that, that's what really goes on behind the curtain in the making of a Hackett musical.